My latest videos were produced with Heatfilm 4 Express. Here are some notes to those of you who consider making your own videos. The Express version is free. All I need is included in this free version, but if you do need more advanced stuff, you must buy add-on packs, if not the entire Heatfilm Pro version. Heatfilm has never crashed on my computer. I don't know if crashes do happen on slower computers though. Before I downloaded Heatfilm, I tried DaVinci Resolve. It's another free editor, but it crashed all the time. Obviously, if you have better hardware, you can give DaVinci Resolve a try. Another option is Lightworks. If neither of these options work on your computer, you can use Windows Movie Maker. I used it until a few weeks ago. It's basic, but it gets the job done. Playback in Hitfilm was kind of staggering, but another program, Avidemux, came to my rescue. It quickly reformats the footage. Just select MP4 Muxer output. Although it is a bit annoying having to reformat all my clips, Avidemux comes with a bonus. It lets you trim the beginning and end of your clips, so we have quite a few megabytes saved that way. If Hitfilm still staggers after the Avidemux trick, you may use Handbrake to prepare your files. If also this does not work, I'm afraid you're out of options. Do not try Hitfilm's proxies. They take forever to generate and will soon take up hundreds of gigabytes. It's really convenient to trim raw footage with a trimmer. Once on the timeline, I can fine tune the clips. There is one very annoying thing with Hitfilm. You cannot select multiple clips and change them all at once. Like if the raw footage is a bit too too loud, I cannot reduce the volume all, of all the clips at once. I need to do it separately for each clip. The same applies to every change, for example saturation and brightness. Then I need to repeat the process for each and every clip. Set the audio size to extra large. It makes manual control easier, so you can quickly adjust all the clips that way. Skip the trimmer altogether. Add the input files directly to the timeline. Apply all the effects and controls you need while each file is still one clip. Then do the clipping on the editor timeline. Hitfilm does not have an audio recorder, but exporting from Odyssey is as easy as can be. It also has a noise reduction function, which is quite good. This is very convenient if you are like me and shoot upside down with action cams. The preview thumbnails are regenerated every time the timeline is updated. This causes sluggish playback, so better select no thumbnails. Inserting text takes quite a few steps. Make a composite shot. Select text tools. Mark the text area. Write the text. Mark the text. Open the text editor. Open the media tab. Drag it onto the timeline. At least adding more text later on is easier. In the media panel, right-click the original composite shot and duplicate it. Double-click on the new one, then double-click the text. Then click Ctrl A and write your new text. And finally drag the new composite shot onto the timeline. Cross-dissolve transitions also require a few more steps than it ideally would. At least adding a video on top of the main video is as easy as can be. And this is very useful for YouTube, where I often do this to reference another clip. Although Hitfilm does have some annoying sides, it is my favorite editor at this point. I'd like to add that I'm a beginner, and there may very well be better ways of doing things that I'm simply not aware of.